press conference by Honorable Chief Peter Akpanke, member representing Obanliku Bekwara Obudu Federal Constituency, Cross River State, on the attack by the Ambazonian separatists on Belegete community, the lack of federal government concern, and the question of a federal republic. Members of the press, esteemed colleagues, my dear people of Obaniku, Bekwara, Obudu Federal Constituency, Cross River State in particular, and Nigerians in general, I stand before you today with a heavy heart, filled with profound anger, bitterness, sadness, and disappointment. On the fifth day of December 2023, our peaceful community of Belegete was subjected to horrific attack by suspected Ambazonian militants from the Republic of Cameroon. These barbaric individuals held our people hostage for over 24 hours, inflicting pain and suffering through gun violence, physical assault, and the destruction of properties worth millions of naira. As some of you may be aware, my parents, siblings, and children of the Belegete extraction witnessed the saddest day of our existence recently when armed separatists from the Republic of Cameroon, whom have been named Ambazonian attacks, attacked the sleepy and peaceful community in Belegete on the fifth day of December 2023. Belegete community is a Nigerian border village between Nigeria and Cameroon within the edges of Obaniku Plateau in the hinterland of the Obudu Mountain Resort. It is located about 400 kilometers north of the Nigerian port city of Calabar. The community has been under siege by Ambazonian bandits since Tuesday, 5th December 2023. The bandits have continued to shoot sporadically, beating and cutting away people and valuable property to their camps across the, the river between Nigeria, the, the border river between Nigeria and Cameroon. Among the over 30 people abducted is Chief Ogwesi Francis, the clan head of Belegete clan. Apart from those taken captive, several other men, women, children have been abused, injured, and emotionally traumatized. The area where this barbaric and dastard attack is being unleashed is the ancestral home of the Belegete people. They have inhabited the place for, for several centuries as law-abiding citizens of Nigeria. They have lived peacefully and harmoniously with their far and near neighbors. There is therefore no jurisdiction whatsoever for this external invasion on Nigeria's territory and the disruption of the lives of her citizens. Beyond the plight brought upon the Belegete people, this unprovoked aggression is a frontal attack on the territorial integrity of Nigeria. The Nigerian government needs to take urgent and drastic actions to forestall a repeat of what happened in the southern border, where Nigeria lost part of its rich territory to Cameroon. It should be treated as a case of once beaten, twice shy. The relevant security agencies have to rise to the occasion to ensure the sovereignty of Nigeria is not tampered with. Security operatives must take drastic actions to, to secure the security of life and people in the area. These barbaric acts have continued since until date with her brothers and sisters subjected to pain and suffering, as well as destruction of properties. This, alongside the abduction of our people and the life-threatening injuries inflicted on them, with no support yet from the federal government. As I speak, the clan head of that community, Chief Ogwesi Francis, and several other persons are held hostage by armed separatists of another country, and we as a nation are not angered. It must be noted that the Belegete community is, a very, is very rich in natural resources like uranium and lithium. And this could be one of the major reasons that the Amazonian separatists have, from Cameroon attacked the community. This act of aggression is not only blatant disregard for human life and safety of fellow Nigerians, but also a direct assault on the sovereignty of Nigeria. We as a nation cannot tolerate such acts of impunity and must respond with utmost seriousness and resolve to forestall it ever happening again. 
It is not the first time such has happened, as we have seen from years past in some north central and north eastern states like Taraba, Adama, which is why I, on behalf of my colleagues today, am addressing you all. The response to the crisis in Belegete, as it was in those areas, has unfortunately been hampered by the lack of readily available access roads and communication infrastructure in this community. This has undoubtedly left the community, unfortunately, feeling vulnerable and exposed. While the government works to improve these crucial infrastructures and resources necessary for human existence and security of lands and properties, it is important to remember the human cost of this delay and the fundamental right of all citizens to feel safe and protected in our dear country. Therefore, we demand immediate and decisive actions from the, from the Nigerian government. This includes the following. Deployment of adequate security per personnel to Belegete and surrounding areas to ensure the safety and security of our citizens. Provision of immediate medical assistance to the injured and displaced. Initiation of a thorough investigation to bring the perpetrators of this heinous crime to justice. And the construction of access roads and communication infrastructure to improve the security and well-being of our border communities, especially in cross river State. The recent tragedy in Belegete has highlighted the urgent need to bolster security along our borders. We call upon the Nigerian Border Patrol to, make, to take immediate action by establishing permanent security outposts across strategic locations. These outposts equipped with necessary resources and staffed with trained and fully armed personnel will play a, cru a, cru a crucial role in deterring further incursions into Nigeria and ensuring the safety of our citizens in their various communities. This pro proactive approach is essential to protecting our citizens and preventing further suffering among the people and wanton destruction of property. We urge the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to swiftly provide vital assistance to those affected by this tragedy. This includes the immediate provision of emergency medical care, food shelter, and other essential supplies to alleviate their sufferings. NEMA must act quickly and decisively, decisively that the people of Belegete are not left to face this hardship alone. We also call on the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation to include areas affected by this act that threaten our nation as well as places where Cameroonian persons of concern reside as high priority areas. Furthermore, we urge the Nigerian government to engage in urgent diplomatic dialogue with the Cameroonian government to address the root causes of this conflict. We must work together to ensure that such acts ag aggression never occur again. The international community must also take notice of this incident and extend their support to Nigeria in its effort to maintain peace, security on its borders. We call for strict intervention from international organizations to prevent further violence and displacement. As your representative, I assure you that I will not rest until justice is served and the safety of our people is guaranteed. I will continue to raise my voice in condemnation of this attack and demand accountability for those responsible. We, the people of Obaliku, Obudu, Bekwara Federal Constituency, are resilient and will not be broken by this tragedy. We stand united in our resolve for peace and justice. Together, we will overcome this challenge and rebuild our dear community stronger than ever before. Thank you all.